Luke Gale is the reigning Man of Steel, voted by his peers as the best Super League player in 2017. There's a very good reason for that. In this masterclass, we discover what makes him a world-class drummer. Just give us a bit of an overview of what a seven, a scrum half is. Well, the, the, the scrum half is the, the, the kind of the general. So if anybody, it, it's a good question because many people come up to you and say, what position do you play and what does that mean? So I would say a seven is probably the loud, the loud mouthy one who barks orders around at the bigger lads. But um, that, that's basically it. You, they get your team around the field, get to certain points and, 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 and probably control and manage the game. When it comes to kicking, Luke Gill is an artist and the pitch is his canvas. But you have to understand the basics to be a grandmaster. First of all, we're going to learn the fundamentals of kicking a ball. So, Harvey, if you just pass me this one. So, when we're kicking a ball, head over ball, so we're not lent back and it's going all over. We, we drop the ball north to south, so we keep it like this, not like that, because when we kick it there, it's going to go that way or we kick it there, it's going to go that way. So very important is that what we call the drop. Keep it north to south, head over, and just follow through like that. Nice, Harvey, if you want to have a go. Nice. So north to south, boys, head over. Easy as that. That's it, that's a there great kick. It's windy. He's got it, it's Jonesy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm both feet now, watch, watch. <laughs> <laughs> Good kick. Yeah? Great kick, well done. The 40-20, a kick from behind the 40 metre line which bounces in the field of play then leaves the field after the opposition 20, giving possession back to the attacking side. Sometimes after a bad set, you can jag a 40-20 and it yeah. turns the game on the head. I've, I've seen whole matches won on a 40-20. So how do you know when you're going to have a shot? So now I'd be looking at Jonesy, I'd be looking at where fullback is, where winger is. If if I, if I the wingers, the left, I play left side half, so if their right winger stepped up a bit, I might have a look and just say, look, the fullback's not tracking that. And I'll have a shot for that 40-20 there, which right. uh, Castleford is a small pitch. Yep. So it's quite an e it's, a, it's a lot easier kick on the Castleford than it is anywhere else. So I'd be sat at the 40 metre line, looking at that fullback, looking at this winger, and I'd be thinking, my 40 20 is down there. These uh, are game changers, especially um, when you're defending. So if somebody kicks a 40 20 at you, it's an absolute killer. So when, when do you start to look for a 40 20? I've probably seen it the set before, and I noticed for Emo, he's a bit uh, shallow, and Shaw's, Shaw's probably waiting for, for Macca's kick or ben, Benny Roberts' kick. Yep. Um, and I just just spotted um, Farimo up a bit too high there, and just uh, and slotted one in. Slotted one in, yeah. Nailed it. And this one is even more in control. I can see you smile afterwards. <laughs> so uh, at this game, we, the, we had a bit of wind with us. Right. And once you you kick ball in wind, it, it it goes a long it goes a long way. And uh, he's probably got a bit of sun in his eyes as uh, Mason Caitlin Brown. And yeah, we're happy with that one. It, it, I think he's probably a few metres too shy. You are happy with that, look at that. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 just, I just struck that one nice and, and got it with wind and, and he thinks he's getting it all, he thinks it's coming to him and it, it just goes a bit higher. The, that wind just took it that, that, that extra few metres deeper. So we're in good ball now. Yep. I've had a great set. You've come and you're going to... And I Listen, I've been to Cass plenty of times, been in this position thinking, oh no, Gil is going to go for a repeat set or even kick to score a try. So what's going through your mind with this field position? Yeah, we're probably 25 out, Jonesy. I'd probably say it's a bit far out to roll a grubber in and get a repeat set. So I'd look to put it to air and land it in the five metre box that we spoke about, the accurate kick, yep. to land it there, to give my wing a chance to get down and put pressure on the opposing team by landing in that box. Soon as he catches it, he gets tackled and you start your set from a metre out from your own line. Right guys, we're aiming for that yellow box. Body position is be aiming at this yellow box. You don't want to be aiming that way to cut across your body. Everything in motion. We're gonna drop it, same head over ball. We've got a winger outside us that's gonna get up there and challenge hopefully in this winger. Head over. And we're just gonna land it in there like that. 
Hopefully, winger gets up, catches it, four points, and we win the game. Good carry. Good carry. Good, quick play the ball. Can he land it on the money? Yes, great kick. Well, yeah, I'll give you that one. Well done. We just need a bit more height so it can get our winger chasing. So we need to hang it a bit, a little bit higher so that our runner can get down and, and contest the kick. Let's go. Clayton on the carry. Good play the ball. Oh, good service. Take your time. Have oh. it. Oh, not bad, I reckon. Good carry. Wells is in. Oh, he's got it. Just a bit short, but not a bad effort. Wells is in for oh, Wells will be playing quick. Down and up. Down and up. Get up and play it. Give it to Joint here. Joint is put a nice cross field in. Oh! Yes. Yeah! Well done, guys. Has anybody got any really good questions? Why do you have to kick a ball high when you're doing a kick? Well, if we're kicking to a corner, we have to kick the ball high because we want our winger, who's really fast anyway, to get down there and catch it. If we kick it too low, the opponent is just going to catch it and we've got no pressure on him. So we need to hang it nice and high for our winger, Greg Eden, to get down there, make a challenge, score a try, and hopefully we win the game. So that's a great question. We've got to get a bit of hang time on the ball so our winger can challenge. So Jonesy, goal kicking, very individual. Everyone has their own techniques, but a couple of tips that I would, I, I would give. Say if I'm kicking a ball from here, I pick out something in the distance, not just a post. So where I want the ball to go, in this case, a scaffold bar. I pick that out in the distance, that's my target, and that's what I kick through. And I'm kicking not through that goal, through there. And that, that's what I always think. I, I line my ball up and I get something where I want the ball to go. It could be Bergevin in distance <laughs> that I pick out and I look at that. And that's, that's my target, not just a post. And I'll get that focus and, and, and I'll try and nail that, nail that correctly. This is the area where games can be won. And we're going to talk about dropping goals and how important they are. But what's your setup look like, Luke? Yeah, so, so many a time we'll be coming up into good ball. It'll be a close game, like you say. There might be six points in it and, and, and it just gives you that bit of a cushion. So we'll call, we'll call a drop goal set and basically I want my middle men, my big strong men, to get me to a left post as fast as they can and play that ball as quick as I can. I'd be sat in this sort of position here, waiting for that drop goal. Nice, clean, crisp pass, Paul McShane, and, uh, and send the fans home happy. Luke with a drop goal! Luke takes passes for time. At what point is it that you decide, right, I'm setting up for a drop? Probably about now, and I'm telling Paul, I'm telling Paul McShane there that where I am. And it's just amazing because he's had two little glaps, uh, glances. I imagine he didn't even really see it, it's peripheral. But yeah, the service, bang, right where you need it. I think that's the importance there, exactly, is knowing, knowing who you play with. So Maka would know that I want to get to a left stick, and he probably knows before he even looks round yeah. where I'm going to be, and, that, and that's massive. And in some games this year, the, the weather's been terrible. Well, th this is probably a, a prime example of that. You know that this is going to be a tight game. Yep. And you know that this, this drop goal could be invaluable. Yep. Um, and I think, I think it was this game as well. Because um, it was first half. Yeah, well, first half is, and we're just working up here. And I, we've actually called it already. So we're just punching up middle. And it's Foster, Springer. So it's big Foster. lads, so they're trying to yeah, get as yeah. quick as they can. And, and I'm probably set up now. Same, same again on that left post, and, and that would be my perfect setup. When got me. Right, guys, going to set a scene. Ten seconds left. Fourth tackle. What we're going to do? We've got Jesse Senilefe here. We've got Paul McShane at Ucker. I want Jesse to get me to a left stick as fast as he can to play that ball for me to attempt a drop goal. So this is how it goes. Big carry from Jesse. Down and up, down and up. Get up, Ucker. play it. It's a quick play of the ball, a skinny ball machine, and he's nailed it! He's yeah. won the game! <laughs> get down and play it, get down and play it! We've got Paul McShane, he's going to get up, he's giving him a beautiful feed. It's all down to Luke Gale! Oh! oh! <laughs> he 
is over! Oh. It's out of the cup! <laughs> so what went wrong there? I need to keep your head down the right way, maybe. I think you've just dropped it. Very important, when we drop a ball, same as we kicked it before, the drop has got to be square on, because if we drop it that way, the ball's going to shoot off that way and we're going to kick it along the floor and it's no good. So the drop is very important to keep it square. Unless you do the crossbar challenge, then that's perfect. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get another one, get another one. Right, who wants to play it? Tom's up. Go, Harvey. Go, Harvey. We've got Milner. Milner's taking a quick play of the ball. Mac is back in there. Tom's There's a little girl on the sticks. Yeah. In there, oh, there is yes. one! Yes. And the well, Vian Kassai! Yeah, we've got a win! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's played ball quick. He's got the big lad, he's going to win the game at Wembley. Oh! Oh! Yeah. He's done it! He's, done it. he's <laughs> got it in the corner! <laughs> <laughs> Sky Sports, feel it all.